Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Tacoma and this is day 6 of 14 of socially distancing myself in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Governor Jay Inslee gave us the uh, stay home order today for Washington State and um, I, I honestly don't know how that'll be too different for me. I've been home for uh, quite a few weeks now. Um, I think uh, today might be the last time my wife is headed back to work for a while, but uh, you know, everything stays up in the air. Um, they've determined that uh, the, the type of business she works at is uh, considered essential. And um, it does seem that people under these rules could still go outside and, and stuff like that, but it looks like they would, uh, they would enforce some type of law if people were out there. I think the example that he gave earlier uh, was playing basketball at the park, that kind of thing. Um, oh, and, and having sleepovers. But, uh, you know, ho hopefully that everybody will just get the message and slow this thing down. Um, I do want to say, though, in, in terms of the numbers and all the panic that's going on, uh, I'm not going to tell everybody what should be and shouldn't be important to them, but I do want to remind everyone that at least here where um, we don't have enough tests to test everyone, right? So what's happening is the they have testing locations and they tell people who uh, would most likely be in contact with other people who have it uh, if they are exhibiting symptoms, come get tested. So what's going to happen is that there's a pretty high chance that every test, or, or most tests, uh, will, will come back positive. And for that reason, uh, we shouldn't panic when it seems to be, you know, such a high rate. It's... Uh, we're testing people who most likely have the virus. Um, personally, I, I don't think that there is a need to panic and that's not to be uh, insensitive to anybody else, but I think we can kind of pace ourselves here. Uh, I don't think we need to hoard anything. We're causing more strain than we need to on this. Oh, <laughs> we're not using more toilet paper, so <laughs> we, we shouldn't need to, to buy more. But, you know, I, I don't want to scold anybody for that because um, I understand that running out of toilet paper is not a line that most in in uh, our world want to... It's not a line we want to cross. <laughs> um, uh, I went to work today, as it's Monday, and uh, I, I'm having some challenges there. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll be working after uh, after uploading this video for a little bit too to try to get some work done. Um, I, I've been hearing about other people's difficult experiences at work. I don't know if anybody's truly thriving in this moment. Uh, I think a lot of people um, might be acting, acting like they're doing really well, but uh, I, I, I could be wrong too. I, I know that I'm not. Um, I know that before this, I... Uh, I was really excited about my job, but at the same time also um, a bit insecure. As I'm new to it, I, I, uh, there's still a lot for me to learn. And being that I'm very excited about it, it's an important job to me. The, the combination of that insecurity and my, my desire to have the job, and then this added insecurity, it feels like it's slipping through my fingers. And I think, um, I think a lot of people are there, and if somehow um, me explaining it like this can can get other people to understand uh, that whether they can relate to it or maybe they can just understand that other people uh, are experiencing that, uh, it could help us all just move forward with a little bit of ease. You know, um, my my inability to to do something well right now is not uh, not because I don't want to do well. It's um, it's because you know every text message I get or every you know every ping that I get it always comes with this this could have some bad news right. Um, and I'm not I'm not just talking about you know somebody uh, has tested positive, but you know in, in terms of my family, uh, somebody 
uh, has lost their job, somebody has, um, you know, had their hours significantly reduced, uh, some have continue to be uh, essential workers and they're they're being insulted by by the rest of, of the public trying to uh, trying to ease their own ease their own panic so um, it's a stressful time for everybody and uh, you know I, I want to keep reminding each other to give each other a little bit of grace um, if you can't some, support somebody maybe just uh, Give them a, a little bit of space because there's no way to know what they're going through, and there was really no way to prepare for this. Um, well, maybe there there are ways to prepare for it. I don't know, but I do know this: I was ill prepared, and I think most people are ill prepared, and I think um, we need to be a little bit forgiving of that of ourselves and, and each other. You know. Uh, this is different. This is different. Our world is different, but maybe we can treat each other a little bit better. Uh, because the truth is, even if you know more about this virus than I do, or more about survival than I do, or whatever, uh, you still you're not that much better at living in this society than I am, right? <laughs> you're you're not that much far ahead if you're still kind of um, here with the rest of us. So let's all be a little bit better to each other. Um, well, I guess uh, I guess that's it for for tonight. Um, I'm really enjoying making these videos, and uh, yeah, you know what? Um, what's been nice is <laughs> I, I've been getting some compliments about me uh, me working out. You know, people have seen my Instagram posts or. Uh, or, or my cooking, or staying positive. The truth is, I'm I'm putting my best self forward uh, online, right? Uh, during other times in the day, I'm I'm a little panicked. You know, I gotta go and uh, I meditate. Other people do other things, right? But um, I hit the punching bag a few times today. Not really out of frustration, but more like, you know, gotta get my mind off of this. So. Uh, it's been nice hearing from people saying that uh, that I've I've motivated them or helped them to stay consistent or anything like that. That's that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I'll admit, it helps me stay consistent by making these videos. I said I'm gonna do one for uh, 14 days, and uh, I'm I'm getting more comfortable with it as the days pass. So that's that's really great. Uh, anyway, I, I appreciate anybody who stopped by, anybody who made it this far, and, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself, right? E every day is, is a new thing. Um, I, I, think, I think we all need to realize that we have a much bigger say in how our day turns out than we think. Uh, and I'll leave it at that. Good night, everyone.